we have had a, a great first quarter with uh, strong sales growth, 6%, uh, earnings up by 10%, as you mentioned, uh, and then on top of that, core earnings also increased by about 10%. So overall, very, very good. We are very happy about the quarter. Uh, tremendous efforts by our people, uh, making uh, everything possible that under normal circumstances you would not see being possible. And uh, that has allowed us uh, to actually get to that strong quarter. Of course, also positively impacted by uh, the, the COVID effects, uh, certainly on our consumer health business, but also you know, some increased uh, buying in uh, the other divisions. Now, for the remainder of the year, uh, we just have to wait for a few more months until we see uh, the lay of the land on how we re-emerge out of crisis. We are very, very prepared uh, and working diligently through our restart activities, but uh, to give guidance is simply too early now. Can I just ref rephrase the question then? Um, obviously, there's been an increase in the number of plaintiffs, 48,000 in February. That's now over 52,000 plaintiffs. In this earnings statement, you talk about having to get stricter with these claimants for liquidity reasons. I'm just asking, can you give us any more clarity as to what that means? Does that mean that you are going to be more aggressive in legal terms in trying to stop the level of claims rising? Well, we stand behind the safety uh, of glyphosate, uh, and uh, that has been confirmed over and over again by all regulatory, uh, virtually all regulatory agencies around the world. The number of cases per se doesn't say anything about uh, the quality or the justification of these cases. Uh, we are constructively engaged in uh, settlement and mediation discussions under the leadership of uh, Ken Feinberg. Uh, but uh, I you know, ask for your understanding that since those conversations are confidential, I cannot uh, you know, shed more light on uh, the content of these discussions. The only thing I can say is that, uh, of course, the pandemic has slowed down things. Uh, you know, the situation uh, has become, I think, more difficult, uh, looking at the fact that uh, you know, meetings cannot take place uh, as they were taking place before. Uh, we see the significant tightening uh, in the markets, uh, and the status is the reflection of uh, those uh, you know, circumstances.